how do I feel? Now, how am I doing, but how do I feel? Because what I realized is that the way that I was feeling was creating a vibration, and then I was attracting. Well, hello, everyone. How's hello. everyone doing today? Good. My name is Anna Reyes. When my mother brought me here from Dominican Republic, um, I felt very self-worthless. My worth was very um, on the floor because I was uprooted from everything that I knew. When I was going to school, children would make fun of me because I didn't know how to speak the language. Um, my confidence was on the floor in order to take the actions that you want to take in your life. And how many of you feel that the actions that we take in our lives determine what the quality of our life is going to be? Yes. Okay. I never thought in a million years that I would be a public speaker. Never. Why? Because I like the confidence to do absolutely anything. So I had to trip, fall, drag myself, do the same things all over again wrong. Did your parents ever teach you how to get a hold of your mind and told you that your mind had creative power? Did anybody ever go through that at home? No. No, because no, I didn't either. And I feel that's why when we grow up as adults, we're so frustrated with finding what is it that we're really passionate about. Because no one really took the time to teach us those things. So now that we become adults, now we have to go into the world and find this information out for ourselves. Because something that we lose over time as we become adults is the imagination. Because we think we're too cool for school now. Right? So all the little things that we would do as children, how we wanted to become a fireman, a nurse, a doctor, we did all these things in our mind. And we played and we dressed up. And all of that we lost. And that is a major part of the creative process of how you become a conscious creator. Uh, something that I learned in my growth process was that in order for me to increase my level of confidence, I needed to learn who I was. So how many of you feel that you don't know who you are? How many of you feel that you, you see yourself behaving and doing certain things, you just don't know where those things come from? And you should pay attention to how you feel. And if you don't feel good, don't drink that alcohol. If you don't feel good, don't eat that nasty food. And when I started paying attention to the food that I put in my body, I started feeling better. Because the food that you put in your body affects your thought process, whether you want to believe it or not. It just does. And what I'm discussing in this book is how do we learn how to focus enough in our lives to identify what it is that we love so we can create the life that we want to see around that.